Today in the gospel, the first verse is that the disciples recognized Jesus in the breaking of the bread. And he was recognized as a cook on the shore by the disciples, as a gardener by Mary Magdalene, that Jesus comes in different ways. The question is, how do they recognize, how do the world recognize Christians? And our hymn says, they will know that we are Christians by our love, by our love. They will know that we are Christians by our love. And one way we express um, that love is by being disciples and stewards of Jesus' many gifts. This weekend, we've asked different parishioners to share with us uh, their experience of stewardship. Last night, um, Jeff and Jackie Merkus were here, and they talked about stewardship in their life. Jackie's a teacher in East Pier High School in chemistry, and Jeff works in downtown Green Bay. Uh, this, at 10.30 Mass this morning, Kitty Berry, our trustee, will be talking about stewardship. Kitty is a director, assistant director of the um, Options for Independent Living. And at the 8.30 Mass, here and now, uh, Jeff and Mary Bersh are here with Aiden, their son. And uh, Jeff is an outdoor engineer at, uh, in town here. And Mary works for uh, Schneider. She is a um, human resource uh, director there for them. They have also been co-chairs of our auction. And the auction this year raised over 80 million, 80, not million. <laughs> <laughs> That's a football player. Uh, <laughs> raised over $80,000, so they put a lot of work into that. So Mary and Jeff, uh, what's been your understanding of stewardship over the years? Has it changed at all, or what, what's stewardship for you? Um, Mary and I are both going to do some thoughts, too. Yeah, so. Okay. <laughs> um, well, when I thought about the question about stewardship, um, growing up, admittedly, uh, I didn't understand really what stewardship meant, but... Uh, as I got a little bit older, then to me, it, it, I thought it became a code word for asking for money. Um, but uh, then as I became a little older and I've heard some homilies, um, I do remember one about the, the three T's, and that was the time, talent, and, and treasure. And then over time, I've come to realize that's really what um, stewardship is about. And as I was kind of pondering the, the question a little bit more, it, it made me think about the, the parable of the... Um, there's the, the, the man who's going to be going on a trip, and then there's his three servants, and he, just, he says he's going to give them his talents, his money. And uh, um, <clears throat> then as, as he, when he comes back, the first two servants multiplied their, their talents, their, their money, and the, the owner, the master, was very happy with them, and, and, and he gave them greater responsibility. But the third one decided he was going to bury it, and he thought he did a good job when he... Uh, um, when he came back and said I, he didn't make anything out of, out of that money and the master was upset about that and I do think that's looking back at that parable I think that's what stewardship is about is, is, is multiplying and making the most of the talents that, that God gives us we can't not just it's our responsibility to do more with, with what we've been given for me stewardship had really two components as I was growing up some form of monetary payment um, but also volunteering. Um, both my grandparents and parents um, were fantastic models of volunteerism. Um, they encouraged my siblings and me to volunteer, and perhaps sometimes I was voluntold as well. Um, but some of the memories I've had were regular visits to Santa Maria Nursing Home, playing bingo with the residents, um, our annual uh, picnic at the McCormick Home where we served lunch and played bingo again with the residents, um, and then when I was in high school and college, I had opportunities to participate in multiple service projects. Um, some of those were serving our elementary school students, working at Paul's Pantry, and serving meals to those who are in need. As I think about stewardship now, um, I think it's really about understanding, developing, nurturing, and sharing giftedness, both my own as well as that of others. So I think about where my talents can provide values to others. I believe it's my responsibility to continue to grow, develop, and nurture my talents, but again, those of others, by encouraging and inviting others to participate in events. So whether it's through my family with Jeff, Aiden, and I doing service projects, or inviting others to participate in the number of school activities and other 
um, uh, community events that we participate in. I think that's really important from a stewardship standpoint. And lastly, I would just say about this, um, that we have a really powerful prayer here that we say at Resurrection that is meaningful to me. When we talk about the stewardship prayer, one of the uh, partial verses in that is nur nurturing a stewardship way of life marked by faith-filled prayer, uh, service to our neighbor, and generous sharing. And I think um, those three items are really important, and, and there are three items that I continue um, to try to live out. Surely this year, uh, in terms of the uh, school auction, that was a major uh, expression of your stewardship. Are there w other ways in which you're also exercising stewardship? Go ahead. Do you want me to start? Okay. Um, first and foremost, I think it's going to Mass on a regular basis. And at Mass, um, Jeff will talk about some of the things that he and Aiden are involved in. But personally, um, I'm a Eucharistic minister. I also sell script after Mass. And I represent the parish on our Green Bay um, uh, religious education um, committee, so our GRACE uh, board. I also participate in the Resurrection School Site Advisory Committee. And then I also, as I mentioned before, as we think about our sharing our talents, um, my professional career um, allows me to participate on a number of community boards. Um, I also speak to high school students and college students about careers. And then um, lastly, we do provide financial support to the organizations for which we're involved. Uh, exercise and stewardship. Um, uh, ultimately, um, stewardship is about uh, um, applying our, you know, my, our talents in a way to make things better. I guess that's sort of the ultimate goal is to do something with what you have to make things better. And um, also, practicing stewardship is also about prioritizing and making choices. And time is a valuable asset. So as, as our schedules get busier, um, stewardship is also about making good choices. So um, as Mary mentioned, one of the things as far as prioritizing and making choices is um, we make mass a priority. So um, you know, we don't consider it an inconvenience in the middle of a busy schedule. You know, it's something that we want to put a priority on. And then, as Bishop mentioned, um, <clears throat> you know, we, we're a steward for the school and for the church. So, you know, we do a lot of volunteering and fundraising for, for the school. And I think that's important because I remember last week, Sheila was up here um, giving her homily, and uh, she, she made the comment about how the, the church, the, or the charter members of the church, th thought that it was very important to have a school. And within two years, they, they, you know, they developed the school. And um, I think promoting Catholic education and, and being that liaison between church and school and having that strong foundation and connection with the church is, is very important. So um, we try to, to, to bridge those two things in our stewardship. And just lastly, a couple of other items. You know, we practice at home, too. And it might just be a good role model for our son, Aiden, um, being a homework mentor when he's having trouble with math. And, uh, but then also at work, um, you know, it's about building positive relationships with our coworkers and also recognizing that other people have talents and skills too and it's just working together with other people. So there's multiple ways that we can be a, a good steward um, just beyond church and school and it's, it's everywhere around us. Okay. Thank you. Just one last question. Um, there's a claim in the stewardship way of life that uh, we don't own anything, that everything is a gift, our time, our talent, our treasure. Mm -hmm and that therefore we cannot claim ownership, but we're basically trustees and caretakers. Do you think uh, that's a valid uh, stance that uh, we don't own, that we're simply caretakers, not simply, but caretakers and trustees of all that we have? Um, as I put some thought on it today, I, I did, that did make sense to me. Um, I kind of re related back such that um, God is the owner, you know, like you said, we don't own anything, but God's the owner, and we're all just, managers you know we're the we're out there with with that responsibility now as as a manager of our talents and our time and our treasure to make the most of that mm -hmm. and so i think it does make sense so if i if i loop back to the first question about the, the parable um with the with the the man and, and the servants you know god is the man going going on there and he's bestowed us on us all these gifts and all these talents and for to please God, when he comes back, let's say like the man, 
we, you know, we need to multiply and make the most of those gifts and talents. And if we don't, we're going to be like the third guy who, who didn't do anything, and then God will be unhappy. Great, great image, great image. My answer to that question is yes. Um, again, if we think about the gift, uh, what we have is truly gifts from God, um, I think that theology then makes sense. Um, I also think this is a challenge in our culture today um, because it seems like we're consumers of many things, whether it's information, goods, or services. Um, so, so that is a challenge for us. Um, but I believe that if we can challenge ourselves and we can think about the gifts that we've been given, um, whether it's education, experiences, or relationships, and we can leverage those gifts, um, we can take the opportunity to leave situations better than we found them. Um, and I think that's a way of demonstrating stewardship. I also um, challenge myself not to be a consumer, but a participant. So um, many times from experiences, we get to take something, but I also think it's worth all of us um, thinking about what we can give and what we can share um, to demonstrate that stewardship. And, and again, I go back to the stewardship prayer, and in that it states, may we return tenfold the gifts entrusted to us. Um, so I look at that as an invitation and a challenge for all of us to demonstrate stewardship. Great, thanks, Mary. Aiden, would you come up for a minute? Uh, Aiden is also a steward. In fact, he is our number one usher. He's the head of the ushers. So let us thank the uh, Burishes very much for their good stewardship. <laughs> <laughs>